In this video, I want to talk about how you can be emotionless. So I obviously understand that most of you guys are probably watching this video either got hurt are going through a difficult time or generally speaking are too emotional and want to actually seek out for help to actually become more emotionless. And therefore in this video, I'm actually going to give you step by step tricks and tips that you can implement in your own life to actually be more emotionless. But before I start, I actually saw that over 90% of you that are currently watching these videos aren't even subscribed yet. So if you're someone that actually wants to see more content like this in the future and just generally love videos like this, please consider to hit the subscribe button because that truly helps me out. And with that said, let's jump into the video. Number one, be less empathetic. So I obviously understand that empathy is very, very important when it comes to humans. We need empathy in our life and we need to give it to others as well to actually feel more fulfilled. But if you're someone that is actually too empathetic and actually gives it too much to others, you actually leave yourself more empty and therefore more wounded. So if you're someone that at the moment is too empathetic and is giving so much value to the world without actually receiving anything back, this may actually cause too much pressure on your shoulders and therefore will actually cause a lot of emotional damage maybe later down the road. So if you're someone that actually wants to be less emotional and just generally wants to have more control over their life, you need to be less empathetic and care more about yourself. I'm not saying that you need to care only about yourself and not about others, but you also need to prioritize yourself to make sure you save your emotions. Number two, stop being available. So if you're someone that actually wants to be more emotionless, you need to implement some strategies to at the same time become a bit more heartless as well. I'm not telling you to completely become heartless and don't care about others, but by becoming more heartless, I mean that you need to care more about yourself before you actually care more about others. You need to stop being available for other individuals if they have a difficult time. Because obviously, if you have a difficult time, most likely you just keep it to yourself and therefore you actually build up the pressure of yourself and the other individuals that actually taught you about their problems. And therefore, if you're someone that is unavailable, you won't actually get those emotions that the other individual is feeling. Because most likely, if you're watching this video, you're too emotional and you actually care too much about others. So think about it. If someone is pretty much telling you their story and how they're currently feeling, you actually truly feel for them and therefore you actually get the same emotions like they do. And that can also have a negative effect on your physical and mental health and therefore don't always be available. Number three, stop internal pressure. So I understand that if someone is actually quite negative to you and you actually consider their opinion quite valuable, it can actually suck. And hey look, I actually genuinely believe in that we as humans have to take control of our own lives. But it shouldn't emotionally affect you. So if someone is bad to you, you don't necessarily have to feel bad about it. I know emotions don't always work that way, but you need to understand it from a fundamental perspective and therefore you can actually validate that to your subconscious mind, which will actually make it much easier to be emotionally stronger. So the next time you actually feel bad about yourself when someone else gave their opinion to you, just think about it. Did I have any influence on it or could I change it? If you can, just see it as feedback and try to change and better yourself. But if you truly can't change it, you can't do anything about it. So it's pointless to actually feel emotional and try to actually feel bad about yourself. Because the truth is, in life, we actually have been handed a certain amount of cards. And obviously, some people got better cards than the other ones. And therefore, if you've got some cards which you can't simply influence, you shouldn't feel bad about it. Number four, avoid social stress. So if you're someone that is quite reserved, and perhaps even shy, you might feel obligation that you need to prove yourself to others. And I actually truly see this with a lot of individuals when they're actually quite reserved and shy and particularly aren't the most sociable guy, but when they actually want to stretch their comfort zones, they go too far. And thus, they actually stretch their social comfort zone too much, which will actually leave them very, very emotional. And it's quite simple why, because they're trying to do something and they failed and this will obviously leave you quite emotional. And doing something socially will obviously make it more emotional because it's super intense and you just assume that everyone around you is looking at you. So if you actually extend your comfort zone too much, you might feel embarrassed, you actually might hate yourself, you feel guilt, fear, whatever it is, and you actually truly feel too emotional. So if you're someone that actually can resemble with what I'm saying or can actually see yourself to an extent in it, try to actually avoid stretching your social comfort zone too much. Obviously, stretching it is very good and therefore you will actually be able to do more things. But if you go too hard and too intensely, you might actually put too much social pressure on yourself and therefore become too emotional. Number five, you first. So if you're someone that actually wants to be emotionless, you need to put yourself first before others. Because you need to understand, most likely you're a bit more emotional than the average person. So to actually avoid 
becoming more emotional or constantly be in an emotional state, you need to put yourself first. And by simply putting yourself first, you avoid getting too much contact with other individuals, which will obviously reduce the amount of emotional conversations you have. You can focus more on yourself, which will allow you to understand yourself a bit better and therefore you actually become less emotional. Number six, listen with no emotions. So how can you actually listen to a conversation without feeling those emotions? Well, to be quite honest, most emotional people, when they are simply listening to a conversation, they're actually imagining how it actually would be to be that person or actually imagine that they are in that particular situation. And the trick with this is that if you actually imagine yourself in that particular situation, you'll feel those emotions as if it was true because your subconscious and your conscious mind can't distinguish it. And therefore, if you actually are someone that is imagining it and constantly puts themselves in other people's shoes too much, obviously you'll be too emotional because you're just simply tricking your brain as if you're in that particular spot and therefore you're feeling all of those emotions. So the next time you're actually having a conversation and it's getting quite emotional from the other person, Try to actually get rid of all of those thoughts. Try to show some empathy, but don't imagine it because this way you'll get emotional as well. Number seven, no toxic people. So if you're someone that constantly has drama queens, toxic people around you, that constantly complain about life and constantly share everything they do in their life with you in such a detail when it's quite emotional to actually make sure you feel their pain, you might need to consider to actually hang out less with those individuals. Because if you're constantly hanging out with quite emotional people, obviously you'll become more emotional as well. Because they say that you're the average of the five people around you. And obviously if you constantly have emotional people around you, most likely your brain will actually perceive this as the normal and therefore will also act upon it and therefore you will become more emotional as well. And in no way I'm actually telling you to completely get rid of those people. I'm just suggesting you that you might want to actually hang out less with those people because they're so emotional and therefore they give you those feelings as well. So if you're someone that actually takes these step-by-step -step tricks and tips into your life, you actually become more emotionless and at the same time, you'll be more emotional stable and therefore you can actually have more control over your life. So I actually truly hope this will help you out. And if you're someone that actually wants to see more content like this, because obviously, just like I previously mentioned, over 90% of you that are currently watching these videos aren't even subscribed yet. So if you're someone that isn't subscribed and truly enjoyed this video and wants to see more content like this, please consider to hit the subscribe button and that truly helps me out. And also leave a comment down below if you actually found this useful and if you want me to make similar videos like this and just suggest some to me. Anyways, with that said, I hope to see you in the other video. Bye bye.